Thank you for checking out this little teaser of the history of the papacy and church. Here's a little taste of what's coming up soon on the History of the Papacy podcast. Now, if you like what you hear, I'd love it if you'd leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts or your podcatcher of choice. If you want to support the podcast even more, consider becoming a Patreon on patreon.com forward slash history of the papacy. There are many levels and benefits for you and you help keep the history of the papacy going. You can learn more about all of this at historyofthepapacypodcast.com. With that, here's another piece of the mosaic of the Popes of Rome and Christian Church, and I will definitely be talking to you more soon. But anyway, so <laughs> Radwald's wife was apparently a pretty gung ho pagan, and she said, "No, no, 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 no. Forget, forget this. You're not a. You're not going to become a Christian. You're staying pagan." So, so he tries to split the difference. He says, "Well, okay, I'll add Christ to my personal pantheon of gods. There's always room for one more, right?" <laughs> so, yeah. So he sets up a temple with two altars. The temple has a pagan altar, and then it also has an altar dedicated to Christ. So that's what I mean by half conversion. And what we're going to see, or what we see when we study this, the history of the church in England, the early church, is there's a lot of regressions to paganism. For example, the the son of King Athelbert of Kent, who takes over after his death, he doesn't convert, and he tries to make Kent a pagan kingdom again, but eventually he does convert. So it's not a linear uh, progression of, okay, this kingdom now becomes Christian, and so they're Christian forever and ever. Amen. There's a lot of times when they'll go back to being pagans and then they'll go back to being Christians again, but eventually they do settle into Christianity. All right, so the next kingdom up Maybe. from East Anglia, where our buddy Radwald was ruling, was Northumbria. And I already mentioned that Northumbria was a hybrid kingdom of two smaller kingdoms that were originally there, Deira in the south and Bernicia in the north.